What I'm going to show you how to do is use Google Draw for map creation and students creating maps of their own. So here we have a blank Google Draw document and I've labeled it Continents of the World Map. But this is something that I want the students to be able to use. So anytime I do that, I make sure and add a little master word at the end here so that the students know that this is the master copy. And I go ahead and click OK. And what I did was I went on the internet and I found a blank picture of the world or a blank world map. I've titled it and inserted the picture here using the insert image option. Then what I want to do is set it up so that the students can go to this map and make a copy of it. So I go over here to the sharing settings and you have two options. You can set a share with anyone with the link, which is what I typically do, or anyone on the web. So what they'll be able to do is go to this document, make a copy of it, and be able to manipulate it just by using this link. All right, so now I'm going to show you what it's like for a student going in. They open up the document, and they find the blank world map. The first step that the student needs to do now is go to File, make a copy, so they can make this document their own. Once the student has made a copy of the document, they need to change the title. So instead of saying master here, they're actually going to write the student name and remove the copy of. So now this document is theirs. There's a couple of tools in Google Draw that I think are especially good for labeling a map. For example, this polyline tool lets you click and select an area that when you complete the, the poly shape, It'll change it to a different color, and then the students would be able to label it. So obviously it was a rough, a rough draw right there, but the students could then go in and type in Africa. And now it's labeled. You know, when they're doing it, you'd probably want them to zoom in to be a lot more specific on hitting the exact borders on where the different continents end and begin. One of the other uses for this is simple labeling. So here's an example that a student did where they took a blank map of the world and I gave them a series of places that they were supposed to label and they went in and drew different lines and arrows and words to label the different parts of the world. There's definitely some higher level capabilities here where this student took a map of Meso in South America and labeled many of the different geographical features, color-coded the shapes, and really took it to the next level. And all of these different uses are possible within Google Draw. So those are a few ways that you can use Google Draw to create online interactive maps that the students can actually do themselves.